snuggle down. It's listening time now. Slinky Malinky Cat Flaps The house was asleep. It was silent and still, with flickering shadows on ceiling and sill. Slinky Malinky was cosy and snug, curled in a ball on the raggedy rug. He opened an eye, inspected his toes, and washed from his tail to the tip of his nose. He wiped round an ear with a delicate paw and stretched as he silently slipped through the door. Whiskers all twitching and eyes shining bright, he squeezed through his cat flap and into the night. He prowled round the garden and smelled every smell, from the rambling rose to the snail in its shell. Then, with a curious, questioning call, he sprang to the top of the tumble-down wall. Brrrr, he called. Out of a bush at the end of the wall came two creeping shadows, one big and one small. Slipping and slithering, scrambling down, were Greyweight Jones and Butterball Brown. Next to the hole by the tunnel house door, furtively lurking, were two shadows more. Up through the leaves of the five finger tree climbed Pimpernel Pooh and Mushroom McGee. Down on the grass by the cucumber frame, mysterious figures were playing a game. They tumbled and chased with a scuffle and cuff. The Poppadom kittens and Grizzly Macduff. From nooks and from crannies, from mischief and game, from every corner and crevice they came. They sat in the moonlight's silvery glow, hobnopping happily, ten in a row. But, out of the hedge by the rickety seat, disturbing the birds in their feathery sleep, Something was sneaking on Pussyfoot Paw, the cranky and crotchety Scarface Claw. Then, all at once, came the ear-splitting sound of a caterwaul symphony echoing round. Brrrr! Eow! Brrrr! Eow! Spit a bit! Spit a bit! Wow! Eow! It woke all the neighbours. From window and door came bellowing shouts and a furious roar. Shh, they all said. What a rackety bunch. Stop that commotion and go home at once. With a grumbling growl and a scuttle of paw, off and away galloped Scarface Claw. And down from the wall with a hiss and a spit went Slinky Malinky, lickety split. The others all followed until there were nine, trotting behind in a tail-waving line. Whiskers all twitching and eyes shining bright, they squeezed through the cat flap and out of the night. The house was asleep. It was silent and still, with flickering shadows on ceiling and sill. Slinky Malinky was cosy and snug, with all of his friends on the raggedy rug. They sat in the firelight's welcoming glow, hobnobbing happily, ten in a row. The end.